today. From Empower Field at Mile High in Denver. It's week two of the NFL on EA Sports. It's the Denver Broncos taking on the Houston Texans. We find ourselves at the foot of the Rockies, Denver, Colorado, for this edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Today, after a crazy opening weekend, it's on to week two, and we've got a good one here between the Houston Texans and the Denver Broncos. Two teams here fresh off week one victories who can keep it going as we're underway on EA Sports. And as we see so frequently here in Colorado, that went over the inline, so it'll come out to the 25. Time for our first look at the Denver offense, and of course the new face of the Broncos, nine-time Pro Bowler while in Seattle, Russell Wilson. The Denver Broncos knew exactly what they wanted when they acquired Russell Wilson. They wanted to bring in a quarterback who was durable, consistent, and a proven winner to take a talented roster back to the postseason. And Russell Wilson, he was all of those things in Seattle. One losing record in 10 seasons, missed only three games in that time, and made nine Pro Bowls. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. The numbers for Williams a week ago, 18 carries, 75 yards, and a touchdown. That's a good start to the season. They got the win, and they were able to establish a good running game. Nothing that just blew people away, but a nice, solid base to get things started. And oh, right away, he lost the football. And the Texans scoop it. And this one will be brought back to the 22. Let's face it, everybody at the start of a game has, has a mental image of how they expected to go, and I think that was going exactly as they scripted it offensively. Moving the ball well, seemingly in control, and that fumble, that's got to be a little bit deflating, don't you think? Yeah, foiled the whole plan there, turned the ball over. So out come the Texans in great starting field position. And a glance here at their shifty mobile signal caller. I think the hope was to let him sit and learn for a bit, but he was thrown right into the fire in week one. Now we'll see what kind of lessons he's learned as he prepares for his second start in the NFL. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Boyd. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Rookie quarterback, rookie running back. They team up there to pick up the first. They'll drop to throw. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. A nine-yard touchdown run. And the Texans use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. They had the short field, and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. Out is the Texans kick team as they'll send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Broncos onto the field ready to start their next drive. They had to fumble on the last drive, wound up leading to the opening touchdown. Now they'll try again here, first and 10. And the first play of the drive there is incomplete. No surprise at all. They're looking for the big man early in this one. The only surprise for them, he couldn't hang on to the pass. To throw once more on second and 10. Wilson, and this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. A couple of quick incompletions, and now they're just one more away from getting off the field. They've got options now. Could they dial up a blitz here or just drop everyone into coverage to crowd the throwing lanes? On third down, Wilson. And he fires one that's intercepted. And they will score a pick six. 
Jackson's TD. Well, we went from scoreless to 13-0 in a hurry. First, their offense had the touchdown, and now the defense comes through with one. You can't get a better one-two punch than that. Pop a touchdown offense by getting one on defense. If they keep that effort up, you'll take the other sideline out of this one very quickly. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath, first do no harm. And right now they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. Now following the sack, they'll come up here on a second down and 12. From the gun, it's Wilson. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. Well, anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. Pressure comes, and Wilson's going to go down. J.J. Watt, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. And they're picking up right where they left off with the shutout that they pitched last week. A huge part of that, this pass rush. They know how to get after people. Offensively, good luck finding some answers right now. Pilardi now on to punt as he sends this one away. And taken at the 46. Able to slither by. A good head down running on the return gets about 15 yards. And the Texans with great field position to start this drive as they take over first and 10. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He's going to take a shot right away for the end zone. And got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Houston. DeAndre Hopkins with a lucky number 13 touchdowns now on the year. And the Texans are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Fairbairn good with the extra point, and that makes the score 21 to zip. Well, the offense wasn't out there for a long time, but they were out there for a good time. One play, and they're able to hit pay dirt. So how about this for a start? 21-0 here in the first as they kick this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. And Denver getting set to take the field. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores. And I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse if this is an important possession. But I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit. And if they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. Another incompletion there. That's five in a row now to start this game. He's got to take a deep breath now, step back, shake it off a little bit, trust his offensive line, and hope that it's... In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. A.J. Boye with a pick, and the Texans are going to take possession of the football. He's at it again, Charles. He had the pick six last week. Not a pick six here, but an interception. Hey, it's another Oski, because that's the word we use when we intercept the pass. Oski tells your team to rally around and block for you. Well, that worked really well last week because he had made it all the way to the end zone. This week, he got Bioski, maybe not a touchdown, but boy, he's playing really well. They get 14 on that one. Good for a Houston first down. And after his performance last week, everybody saw it unbelievable. You can expect a heavy dose of him again, I think. Without a doubt. I mean, why wouldn't you? Because once you establish yourself that way, it's not just him, okay? It's his offensive line. It's a tight end, it's your wide receivers, everyone now sharing in the load and sharing in the belief that they do their job, they'll see another performance just like they saw the week before. They scored touchdowns on drives one and two, and now they're trying to make it a perfect three for three to start. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. A 
great effort there with his 13th rushing touchdown on the year as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And it is 28-0. Scoring summary, three-play drive. And it was finished off with a 10-yard touchdown scamper. So this not what we expected. 28-0 here in the first as another kickoff is away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Been a nightmare of a first quarter for him. Two interceptions, one return for a touchdown. As he starts again here, first and ten. So first and ten here for Wilson and the Broncos at their own 25-yard line. Nifty move by Gordon. And a short pickup to about the 27. It'll be second down. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. From the shotgun, Wilson, and he drops it incomplete, and their struggles continue here. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. Now Wilson. Being chased, and a big loss here as he's taken down. In for the sack, Miles Garrett. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Yeah, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game, I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I can tell you what, when he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. And this will be touched down across midfield at the 45-yard line. Getting set to go again as we look at the back heading onto the field again. And you see his numbers from a week ago. He was up over 100 yards then, and he's already hit pay dirt here once in this one. We always talk about quarterbacks and receivers getting into rhythm, right? Really feeling good, finding each other downfield. And that is caught. Touchdown, Texans. Odell Beckham. 55 yards, and the Texans have taken a five-touchdown lead. Fairbairn good with the extra point, and the route is on here in this first half. They certainly made quick work of that, ultra-quick work. One of the fastest drives you'll ever see, just one play resulting in the touchdown. So plenty of fireworks here early. 35 to nothing now as the kick is away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Broncos onto the field ready to start their next drive. They're still in search of an initial first down as they come up here first and 10. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. His first half struggles continue. He has yet to complete a pass. Hard to believe. It is because I don't see anything wrong with him physically. Maybe he's a little amped up to begin with. Would have thought he would have settled down by now. I think someone's got to get in his ear. Get... And it's a fumble. And the Texans scoop it. And some room to roam now. And they will bring this one back. A fumble return for a Texans touchdown. Well, Charles, I mean, things just seem to be getting worse and worse for one sideline. Or flip it over after that fumble return for a touchdown. Better and better on the opposite end. What an impressive first half performance. And, partner, I know the saying in the NFL goes that no lead is safe. But I will say that this one seems pretty secure. And if we continue to see plays like that, I'm going to switch back and say this lead is safe. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. And the football going back over to the Denver Broncos. Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ball game as they come up first and 10. And 
and this is going to be incomplete. Well, it certainly appears that they're going to try and keep getting him the football. That's the third time they've looked in his direction. Unfortunately, haven't completed one yet, but I'm not sure they're going to shy away from him. They feel like they've got something there, and they want to capitalize. I think you're right. We're only in the first quarter, so a lot of opportunities ahead. From the gun on third down, Wilson. And that will be incomplete. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. On fourth down, Michael Pilardi on to punt. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. Let's take it inside his own 40. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. On first down, it's Boyd. And he's got some space here. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. A big play there. His second TD of the game and 16th on the season. And the Texans are pouring it on. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And the route is on here in this first half. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this will be a touchback as Ed sails over the end line. Denver's offense now set to go. They've got to be absolutely reeling right now. Couldn't have expected to be down this big this early, but that's the spot they're in as they come up to try again here. J.J. Watt, now two sacks for him already here in this first quarter of play. They come up on second and long, and the pass protection just has not been there this afternoon. On the counter, here's Williams. And a nice gain there as he'll be taken down just shy of the 20. Give him four yards there, but still in a big hole, third and long. Here's Wilson to throw, and that is incomplete. All right, help me out here a little bit, partner, because what I'm seeing is a passing game that's just struggled to complete anything. No rhythm, no timing. Seems like every pass is also contested well, so give some credit to the defense. He'll send this one into the mile high air, and it's a good one. And this one will be touched down right at the 30-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that one. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown, Houston. Brandon Cooks. Halfway to 100 now with career touchdown number 50. And the Texans extend their lead yet again. Fairbairn good with the extra point, and the route is on here in this first half. Out is the Texans' kick team as they'll send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Denver's offense ready to go again. They find themselves in a good size hole here, in a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. Throwing is Wilson. And his throw here is incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Wilson. Eluding the pressure right. And his pass incomplete. Not a great start dropping his first target, but let's face it, it won't be his last chance because he'll get opportunities to make up for that one throughout this game. Now it's Wilson. 
That's complete. It's Okuwebunam. And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made at the three. They'll give him eight that time. And that'll bring up fourth down. That pattern and scheme was well defensed on third down. He tried to just sprint from one side of the field to the other, and they get it to him quickly. But no chance at yards after the catch there, and they stop him short. Kicking it away here, Michael Pilardi. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And this will be taken at the 13. They'll call this a 41-yard punt, seven on the return. And the Texans will take over with a first and 10. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Charles, this offense, they've been on a roll. Two drives ago, they scored. Remember, last drive was that one play touchdown strike, so now they're looking to make it three for three. You know, I talked to a Hall of Famer one time about, hey, when you're on defense and these types of things are happening to you, what goes through your mind? And he told me at that point, it's not about schemes. It's not about what's called from the sideline. It's about players. Who's going to make play, make a stand, and stop this offense from doing what they've been doing? Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. 39 yards there, a big one. There's the arm strength that we saw in college and during the scouting process. And really, it's not just the arm strength there, but the placement as well. To me, that was an excellent combination of arm talent and accuracy. They'll look to throw here on first down. And got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Houston. DeAndre Hopkins. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Texans have got it on cruise control. They scored the most points of anyone on opening weekend, and now first quarter touchdown here. And while there's no guarantee that all the points they scored in opening weekend are going to hold up and be the average all year long, they're certainly starting to set that type of a pace. And what you do with that is you put in the heads of all of your opponents. We've got to really be ready on defense because these guys know how to put the ball in the end zone. Do you think they can keep piling on the points like this? I think they can if they're prepared to adjust and adapt because they won't see the same defense as week in and week out. Out is the Texans kick team as they'll send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. Give him five on the screen play, and that'll set up a third down. Well, this defense for the Texans, terrific last week in the season opening victory. And I think our statistician, we ended up having to bring the blue tent and put it around him for a while because he was developing a hand injury from having to write down all the turnovers this team forced. Five, six, seven, eight. Absolutely unbelievable. I hope he'll recover. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Texans will take over. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. The offense running out, and they are charged up ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'd warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. But I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. He'll look to throw. Going deep for Hopkins. He's got it. Hit the 15. Touchdown, Houston. DeAndre Hopkins. 
doing it again with his third touchdown here in the opening quarter. And the Texans just continue to roll. Boy, just zero hesitation from the rookie passer there, partner. He is coming out firing in this opening quarter. And all the talk leading into this game was that pass rush talking about challenging this guy, getting into his grill, getting into his space. And how about him? Might be his first year in the NFL, but I don't see any fear in him at all. How about that big-time throw right out of the gate? The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. And still no points on the scoreboard. You're coming off of the three and out. They're just looking for anything to grab onto right now, aren't they? I'm wondering if someone's going to take charge in the huddle. You know, we always look at look to the quarterback, but sometimes it's another player on the team, a star, a veteran, someone with some excitement and energy. It's like, all right, guys, let's shake things up and let's go because they still have an opportunity to make things happen. Shake it off. They go play action with Wilson. And Wilson's going to be intercepted a third time. Derek Stingley picks it. A little juke. And the Texans are going to take possession of the football. Keep in mind, he had the three interception game last week, so we requested to talk with him this week. He was all smiles. He's still all smile. Yeah, we didn't jinx him at all, did we? No. Because ordinarily that happened. Touchdown, Texans! DeAndre Hopkins. What is going on here? Four first quarter touchdowns. Unbelievable. And the Texans are pouring it on. Fairbear now to add the extra point. And the route is on here in this first half. Well, they got the ball in great field position. One play later, boom, end zone. Out is the Texans kick team as they'll send this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Now the Broncos offense, they get set to head back onto the field. Well, still early in this one, Charles, but the last time this offense was out there, they threw their first interception of the ball game, so trying to avoid repeating that mistake here on this drive. And to put a positive spin on it, at least it happened in the first half and not in a close game in the fourth quarter, but you're absolutely right, partner. One of the last things this offensive quarterback wants to witness again in this game. Kind of an obvious question, Charles, but anything you try to avoid after your first pick or you say, it's one interception, we're still in the first half, I'm about to do the same thing. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And the Texans scoop it. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. So really a nightmare of a first half for him, Charles. His second loss fumble already. And when they hand us a stat sheet, Brandon, and we see two lost fumbles, we usually think quarterback or running back, don't we? It's not often you see guys on the perimeter lose the ball like that. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. They'll run on first down. Boy. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Give him four on the carry there at second and goal. He'll try again. And he gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Houston. A great play there. Doing it again with his third touchdown here in the opening quarter. And the Texans extend their lead yet again. Well, this has all the makings of a landmark day running the football. He scored three times now. We haven't hit the quarter break. You think back to Alvin Kamara, Christmas Day 2020, six touchdowns, which tied Ernie Nevers, the Hall of Famer. He's halfway there already. Some fancy footwork in the early going. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And the route is on here in this first half. Out is the Texans' kick team as they'll send this one away. 
And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. Last time out, they had the fumble that led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points too, Charles. But they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch partner for both of those units, and they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them, get out there now and get some points on this drive. Looking to throw again on second down. Wilson, and this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Here's Wilson. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth. Now he's hit on the return. It's a loose football. And he will bring this all the way back out to midfield. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. Now, the question, was the knee, in fact, down before this ball comes loose? So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. On first down, it's Boyd. Room here to run. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 137 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. Their mobile, agile quarterback with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Texans have got it on cruise control. Fairbairn good with the extra point. And the route is on here in this first half. Well, it wasn't a one-play drive, but I think they'll take it. The scoring summary, two plays and into the end zone. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Denver offense now as they get set to take over here. So now, Charles, this drive maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. And now here's another interception. Picked off by Micah Parsons. And the Texans are going to take possession of the football. Well, C.D., you know, when you mentioned earlier about spreading the ball around in this game, I don't think you mentioned the guys in the other uniform. I mean, four interceptions here in the first half, and several different guys have picked them off. Yeah, instead of analyzing what's going wrong with him, throwing the football while we look at the defense they came in prepared had excellent game plan well scouted and they're taking it away at almost every turn now a play fake here on first down they'll roll him out and that is caught touchdown texans from four yards out and the texans just continue to roll so this offensive unit, yeah, they were solid in the opening week victory, and now they are looking just as sharp here in week two. And that's exactly what you want, too, because you want to get better each and every week and really ramp up as the season goes on. I know it's still early in the season and a lot can happen, but this offense, they look like they're going to be fun to watch each and every time out. Out is the Texans kick team as they'll send this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. 
And Denver getting set to take the field. So first and 10 here for Wilson and the Broncos at their 25-yard line. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And his throw is incomplete. I hate to say it, Charles, but the way that he has played in this first half, you just kind of hold your breath every time he drops back to pass. Yeah, you might be holding your breath, but those guys on the defensive side of the ball, they've got big smiles on their faces. He's handing out picks. Like the people just leave the candy out at Halloween and you take what you want. They're having a blast out there playing against him today. Now Wilson. And he's going to go down. The Texans come at him and able to bring him to the ground. Micah Parsons now two sacks for him already here in this first quarter of play on now the former Vol Michael Pilardi and this will be down just inside the 30 yard line the Houston's offense taking over again and as the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. It sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments to prevent a repeat of the last drive. Serious. And got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Houston. DeAndre Hopkins, 49 yards. And the Texans are pouring it on. Boy, CD, what a start for them. Still in the first quarter, they're absolutely blitzing them. All the points that they've put up, I'm not sure what you say on the other sideline right now. I think it's as simple as this, partner. The way that they're playing, there's no limits on what this lead could become. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And the route is on here in this first half. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this will be a touchback as Ed sails over the end line. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. And three and out on the last drive. No points on the scoreboard. A little soul searching now? I would say so. And they need to help out their defense a little bit. They've had to be on the yeah, field a lot position. more than normal, put them in some tough spots. But what's the old adage? When you get another chance, it gives you a better chance to do it right. On second and 10, Wilson. He'll get that complete to Albert O. And he'll get nothing there. Stopped right at the line as that will wind us down to the end of this first quarter of play. The offense on third down, an almost unimaginable 0 for 10 thus far. This is third and 10. Steps. Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. And now he's got him in a great spot at the eight-yard line here, first and goal. In their locker room, they've got a sign that says defense wins championships. And Charles, they pointed to that this week, said that has to be us looking good early. I like how you saw that because of the bold letters, right? You saw the emphasis that they place on that and what they believe in. And for them, it's every single snap. So it's not just a matter of getting to the quarter. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. A great effort there on his way to a historic performance. Four first half touchdowns. And the Texans are able to widen their lead here in this first half. And that rushing touchdown is fourth, puts him just one shy of the NFL record in a single game. And we all know he would love to get to that record and even beyond it, but he doesn't need to in order to impress in this one, does he? What a, what a performance. What an absolute great game that he's had here in this one. Out is the Texans kick team as they'll send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. A week two underway around the NFL and a reminder that later tonight it will be Chicago and Green Bay in the Packers home opener. The 101st season of that great rivalry. They had the 100th anniversary last year. 
And then tomorrow night, a treat, a Monday night doubleheader. Tennessee and Buffalo, 7.15 Eastern. And then Minnesota and Philly kicking off a little over an hour later. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. To throw again on second down. Wilson sets up the screen to Gordon. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. To throw is Wilson. Delivering again to Gordon, and he's got him again. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. This is taken at the 23. A nice punt, but a good run back as well of 13 yards. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. DeAndre Hopkins and the rest of the offense heading back onto the field. He might be on his way to a record-setting performance. So good here, we're only in the second quarter. And it's so interesting when we watch these types of days unfold for a receiver because they need a quarter. This is caught inside the 15. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. They'll set up a throw. And that nearly a turnover, but it's incomplete. Well, fortunate to retain possession there, and it's second down. On second down now. It's Boyd, and he'll fight his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. Out of the gun now on third down. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Looked like both sides were anticipating a quick throw there, and the defense was ready to jump in and deny it, and they did. to throw. Dancing to his left. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt, and the Broncos will take over on downs. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. They're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. And the Texans say they have it. They do. Always costly to cough up that football. These defenders, they become so adept, though, at jarring it free. Yeah, it's amazing that there aren't more fumbles caused because now, if you're an offensive player, you go through ball security drills every single day. It's really not out of line to think you should take the ball to bed with you and just hold on to it. <laughs> but the bottom line is, no matter how much you try to protect it, these guys are pretty good at finding ways to knock it out. Second and six. And that's complete to Cooks. And the Texans are going to be set up with a first and goal here as the tackle made at the nine. They'll run on first down. Boy. And he maneuvers his way down to the three-yard line. 153 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. 
And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. It's the fullback with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Texans extend their lead yet again. And make it now a pair of touchdowns for the big man out of the backfield. I'm not sure this was in the game plan, but boy, it's working to perfection. And I know one person has a big grin on his face now. And that's that big guy has found his way into the end zone twice in this game. Fairbairn good with the extra point. And the route is on here in this first half. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. So the Broncos coming out now. And a fumble last time. Ball security. Talk about it all the time in the National Football League. They've got to be better at it on this drive. Don't you think that when every team gets together for the first time, I don't care if it's OTAs, mini camps, first and first day of camp in the regular season, ball security comes up about, what, the second sentence of the coach's yeah. address? And those are so many drills focus on that. All the time, and they do drills to make it even tougher to simulate game situations. Doesn't always work out, though. Miles Garrett, that is now two sacks for him here in this first half. He is proving his worth defensively. Getting the sack here, that comes after being named the AFC Defensive Player of the Week for his performance in last week's game. He's stacking games together, isn't he? I mean, you just mentioned what he did the previous week to be named AFC Defensive Player of the Week. Continuing to play at that level. And when you get that kind of confidence going, those kind of guys are hard to stop. The rushing numbers for Wilson may be down from earlier in his career, but he's still a threat to go, showing it there, picking up the first down. They'll run it up the middle now. Gordon. And a lane slow and materializing there as he'll get maybe a yard up to the 45. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. They keep it on the ground. Again, Gordon. And no room that time. Getting it to about the 46. But now they're in a spot that every team tells us when we have our production meetings they don't want to be in third and long. And that's because those back-to-back -back running plays just didn't accomplish a whole lot. Here's Wilson. And my goodness, another interception. And they will score a pick six for the Texans TD. So this defense doubling its pleasure there. Remember, they had the fumble return for a score earlier in the game, and now this time an interception return for another score. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And the route is on here in this first half. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Denver's offense now set to go. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where... And he loses the football a second time. And the Texans scoop it. And his guys are going to take over at the 21-yard line. Second time in this first half now, Charles, that he's coughed up the football. And both times, I think, they were in spots where he's got to think about covering up the ball. He's got to revert to his fundamentals in those practice drills where they carry it through traffic. He's not out in the open field where he can swing it a little bit, cover it up, and take care of it. After the incomplete pass here now, his second and ten. They'll set up to throw. Flushed out right. slide to a stop. He does have the first down. That one goes for 13 yards and it moves the sticks. He'll drop to throw. That is caught. 
Hopkins for the Texans touchdown. Eight yards on the touchdown pass, and the Texans have got it on cruise control. On for the PAT, Kaimi Fairbear. And the route is on here in this first half. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it's finished off by the touchdown from DeAndre Hopkins. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Broncos onto the field ready to start their next drive. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily that you're looking at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. Wilson. Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. Second time in this game, Charles, the ball is squirted out from his hands. Luckily, his teammate was there to pounce on it. You're right. Got the lucky bounce, able to retain possession. You know, we often talk about the combine and why do we measure quarterbacks' hands? Is that really a big deal? It's for situations like this. Do you have the hands big enough and strong enough to hold on to the football while being jostled? A nice return that time gets 12 yards back. And they will take over first and 10. Getting set to go again, DeAndre Hopkins marches back onto the field. He's the star wide receiver, and he's doing his thing so far here into the second quarter. And how you get distinguished as a star is each and every week performing to a high level, no matter what they throw at you, because you always want to take him. Touchdown, Houston! DeAndre Hopkins, 44 yards. And the Texans just continue to roll. I don't even know what to say anymore. I mean, I've lost track of how many times he's been in the end zone. This is just flat unbelievable. Doesn't matter whether you have an abacus, a calculator, just old-fashioned pencil and paper trying to total it up. The number is staggering. What a performance. This man knows how to find the end zone and make it count. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Denver offense now as they get set to take over here. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Now it's Wilson. Flush to his right. Oh, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. Pilardi now on to punt as he sends this one away. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and that will come the offense as they take over. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Well, everything right now that they touch on this side of the football seems to turn to gold. They've scored on three straight possessions. That lead continues to grow, and I mean, if they can get points here, Charles, might almost be an insurmountable comeback for the other side. I think you make a great case for that, so I'm going to flip it over to the other side. Could they make the big comeback? Certainly. Am I expecting it? Not at all. I think if we don't see a drastic change in how they're playing. And this is caught inside the five. Touchdown. O.J. Howard, 
61 yards. And the Texans are pouring it on. Fairbear now to add the extra point. And the route is on here in this first half. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays. The long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. Out is the Texans kick team as they'll send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. And last drive, three and out. Still a goose egg on the scoreboard. Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. And the Texans scoop it. And they will bring this one back. A fumble return for a Texans touchdown. So that is now two fumble return touchdowns. And you're talking about something that's going to drive a head coach crazy. Without a doubt. But for the defensive guys, once you do it once, you create a frenzy. Everybody wants to get involved, and they got it done a second time. So here's the kickoff now as they'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. So first and 10 here for Wilson and the Broncos at their own 25-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Wilson incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. On second down, Williams. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Operating from the gun, Wilson, and that is incomplete. It's looking like another three and out here, and at some point, you've got to be able to put together a drive to keep your defense from having to go right back out on the field. I feel like things are starting to unravel a little bit, and we're not even at halftime. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Fielded just inside the 30. Oh, he nearly broke that one. As it stands, though, a heck of a 36-yard run back. And the Texans with great field position to start this drive as they take over first and 10. They'll come out throwing here on first down. DeAndre Hopkins making the catch. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. A nice throw right there. And, Charles, this is game number two in the NFL for this young rookie. His guy's getting the victory last week. And he played pretty well by most accounts. Curious, what did you see? I saw something similar to what you described, Brandon, because I saw a guy who looked the part, a guy who was in command, not just with the touchdown passes, but definitely looked to be in control of the offense as well. And you and I both know that's often uncommon for a rookie quarterback. They'll look to throw here. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. Coaches talk about it all the time. Players talk about it as well. Excellent job staying disciplined in coverage and making that stop. Inside the red zone, every stop like that could be preventing a possible touchdown. And that is caught. Touchdown, Texans. Odell Beckham with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Texans extend their lead yet again. Fairbairn good with the extra point. And the route is on here in this first half. Is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. 
The Broncos are about set to go on offense. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. And the Texans scoop it. And his guys are going to take over at the 21-yard line. On first down, it's Boyd. They'll get to him just inside the 15-yard line. And even after that fancy footwork we saw, a good job defensively to recover. Second and three. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. It's their quarterback on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Texans have got it on cruise control. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And the route is on here in this first half. Well, that drive started with not a whole lot of real estate in front of them in plus territory. Excellent field position. Two plays later, pay dirt. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. On first down, Wilson. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. But this defense is certainly organized and playing off of each other because the rush is providing pressure and the coverage is forcing incompletions and capitalizing on mistakes. When you get every level on defense hitting at once, you get first half score. And oh my goodness, he loses it again. And the Texans scoop it. And they will bring this one back. A fumble return for a Texans touchdown. Huge, huge play by the defense, not only to force the fumble, obviously, but to return it for a touchdown. And I know it's no fun for anyone who plays offense, but isn't it fun to see how a defense rallies when there's a fumble return and everyone tries to find someone to block and bring it all the way home? I always like their celebrations because they don't get there that often. No, they're not choreographed very well, usually. <laughs> Fairbairn good with the extra point, and the route is on here in this first half. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Javante Williams and the rest of the Bronco offense back out onto the field. He's had a good chunk of carries. Problem is for very little success. I don't want to put it all on his shoulders, but that's a big reason they're losing right now. Have to be very careful that he doesn't start pointing fingers. Offensive line obviously trying. The defense is doing a nice job against him today. When it's all said and done, it's all about the guy in the mirror. He has to get it done better going forward. See if he can look and do some soul searching now. Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. And the Texans scoop it. And great field position coming up in the red zone at the 17-yard line. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Back to throw here. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. And he's got it. Touchdown, Texans. Brandon Cooks with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Texans just continue to roll. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And the route is on here in this first half.
Out is the Texans kick team as they'll send this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. Now they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train nowhere to go here? He lost the football. And the offense will cover this one up, but they'll be pushed back inside their own 10. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Operating from the gun, Wilson. And he'll go down in the end zone. Down goes Wilson. It's a safety. Right now, they're just trying to get to halftime because they need a break. This game, it's been a shellacking in every way, and they just got driven backwards for a safety. Fielded at about the 28. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. The offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll. Looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles. It's caught inside the 25. Touchdown. O.J. Howard with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Texans are pouring it on. Fairbairn good with the extra point. And the route is on here in this first half. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. And coming out now, the Broncos. And the last time they had the football, they surrendered two points on the safety. They don't want to do that one again. No, not at all. It's almost like a bases clearing double, isn't it? Give up a couple of runs. Sure. <laughs> just, mess, just messes things up for you offensively. But now they've got to go ahead, take it, set it aside, and move forward. Throwing again on second and ten. Wilson. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. Well, after incompletions on first and second down, it certainly seems like a reflection of what we've seen so far in this game. The defense, quicker to the punch so far. Let's see if they can get something going here on third down. On third down, this is Melvin Gordon. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. Call it a gain of four, but not enough. The punt team going to need to be summoned here on fourth down. As much as I praise teams for being true to who they are, in this situation, I wonder if maybe they outguessed themselves a little bit. Third down seemed like an obvious passing situation. They chose to run it and then get anywhere close to the first down. 36 yards on the punt with no return. The Texans with the football here late in this first half. And with a huge lead already, they may be thinking, hey, our job's complete for these first two quarters. Let's get this to the locker room. So first and 10 now from the 30. They're going to look to throw. Oh, now he'll try and chuck it deep left side. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown, Texans. DeAndre Hopkins with touchdown number 20 on the year. And the Texans will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And the route is on here in this first half. Those are the kind of drives they like on offense, from the coordinator to the quarterback, the line, everybody. One play drive and into the end zone for six. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Broncos going to go on offense now late in this first half. And with the score where it is, even though I think they'd love to get back to the locker room, they may be forced to try and get something out of this drive. That's out to the flat for Gordon. 
And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. Now Wilson on first down. Buying time to Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. So he went out of the pocket left, and then things got dicey. And what often happens is when they get outside, they want to keep their eyes downfield in order to try and complete a pass. But when they try to make a play, they've got to get their footwork involved, and that can really mess them up as well. And in this case, nothing went right. Open man is Cooks. He's got it. Touchdown, Texans. A great play there. On his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Texans extend their lead yet again. Fairbairn good with the extra point. And the route is on here in this first half. A nice tidy little drive there, getting the ball in excellent field position and only one play to score it. Out is the Texans kick team as they'll send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Broncos onto the field ready to start their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Not wanting to take a chance this time. They'll keep it on the ground. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Once again, they'll keep it on the ground. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say, we'll see what happens. On fourth down, Michael Pilardi on to punt. He'll send this one into the mile high air, and it's a good one. And take it right on the 30. And how about this? He takes it all the way back. No time, no flags, a punt return touchdown at a stunning end of the first half. And they kicked it to him. They kicked it to him. And as soon as they hand a rookie his playbook, they say, you better make your mark on special teams if you want to hang around. I'd say returning one for a touchdown will definitely leave a memory. Yeah, that's a pretty indelible mark here early on in his career. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And that will take us to the end of the first half of play. So we have reached halftime here. It's the visitors, the Texans, out in front. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, we'll get you back to you and Charles in a bit. But first, it's time for a trip around the NFL following an eventful opening week hit. Let's see what's happening in week two. We'll start up at TIAA Stadium in Jacksonville, where it was definitely a game with some intrigue, as you can see by the scoreline. James Robinson, a touchdown run in the victory. From there, let's head west to see what's going on with the Raiders at home in Las Vegas. And they've got the lead over the visiting Arizona Cardinals. Derek Carr has a couple of touchdown passes there. Lastly, we head to Southern California to check on the Rams at home at SoFi Stadium. And they've got the lead in that one over the visiting Atlanta Falcons. The Rams trying to finish that one off and claim victory. Meanwhile, our game has been a boat race. Very one-sided to this point. And for the call of the second half, let's get it back to our commentating team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. It's the Texans in front, and they're going to get the football first as we are back underway in the third quarter. Taking in at the three. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. 
The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Well, they got to be thrilled with how they've operated so far in this one. They've got the nice lead, and now a chance to score here on three. Oh, a leap, and he will make the catch. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. The second quarter starts off with a bang as they snag over 30 yards. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. It's complete to Hopkins. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. Now this offense really looking polished these first couple of weeks. Here's first and 10. This is caught. It's Cox. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. Brandon Cooks, 31 yards. And the Texans have got it on cruise control. So I tell you what, Charles, I know that you don't put a ton of stock into power rankings and things of that nature, but another score here and two weeks into the season, this is maybe the most impressive team in the NFL. Would you agree? Well, they've certainly sold me as they've sold you. And I agree with you, no question about it. They won easily last week. They're on their way to another lopsided victory here. They're definitely a team to be reckoned with, and they are serving notice to the rest of the league. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. So now a look at the Broncos as they head back out there for their first possession of the second half. So first and 10 here for Wilson and the Broncos at their 25-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Wilson. And now here is another interception. Picked up by Micah Parsons. And the Texans are going to take possession of the football. What a nightmarish game he's having now. Six interceptions that he has thrown. Absolutely unbelievable, isn't it? Hard to believe we're watching this and have seen it. But it just tells you about the game of football. It giveth and it taketh away. Yeah, the guys, though, that have thrown six interceptions in a game, the likes of Peyton Manning, Brett Favre, I think Joe Namath, he did it three times. Now before this second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Skirts by at the 15. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Man, 188 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Back to throw. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. Taking it in from seven yards away. And the Texans take the interception on defense and convert it into six points. He continues to show at this level that he can not only pass for touchdowns, he can run for touchdowns. Not the first time we've seen this because this young guy, he really makes it happen. So what that tells me is the book on him has to change. You've got to now plan for those legs as well as him throwing the football. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this will be a touchback as Ed sails over the end line. And Denver getting set to take the field. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable. Now, a win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but... I don't know, do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. 
Well, partner, they certainly played up to their top 10 defensive ranking this week. They've stifled this opposing offense throughout this game. This contest is now lopsided because of their efforts, and there's still a quarter to go. And that one goes incomplete on the drop. That's one he definitely normally catches. Fourth down. On is the punt team now as this one's sent away. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Well, this offense, this team, they are rolling right now, Charles. They've scored on three straight possessions. You look at the scoreboard, and they pretty much right now got this thing on cruise control. Yeah, and this is that time of game where you and I have to be prepared, right? Isn't this kind of like that empty the bucket time where you have to go into your blowout material and make sure we have some different things? That's what we're staring at right now, the way this one is going. It's caught left side by Cooks. And he's brought down. Give him 17 on the pick up there, and the Texans also get a new set of downs. So a first and 10 now in Denver territory at the 43. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Houston. A big play there. 43 yards. And the Texans get another third quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. And now, of course, all scoring plays are reviewed, and I think they're going to take an extra long look at this one. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds. That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Fairbairn good with the extra point, and the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Out is the Texans kick team as they'll send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Denver offense at the line ready to go. But the disparity in this game, it just seems to grow with each possession here, Charles. They are really struggling. They have not put up a single point, and on the other side, the points keep piling up and up and up. So you know the frustration level has to be rising, right? So they've got to find a way to quell that because otherwise, they certainly won't get anything done in this one. Keep diving deeper into the offensive playbook, but bottom line is don't quit competing. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Operating from the gun, Wilson. And that one off the mark, a little late with a throw. Here's Michael Pilardi now, as he's on to punt for Denver. DeAndre Hopkins and the rest of the offense heading back onto the field. A monster game so far, third quarter. He is lighting up the stat sheet. And so many times when you see these types of games, you hear about the quarterback, or we talk about the quarterback throwing guys open, putting it in the right spot. How about some credit for the receivers, yeah, though, who find ways to get open, whether they uncover late in a route or they get open early, but they just always find a way. And he's having that type of a game. Yeah, he's been nearly impossible to cover. So the completion good for seven there. And that will bring up third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll look to throw for it on third and one. Going deep for Hopkins. And this is caught. Touchdown. DeAndre Hopkins. 
64 yards. And the Texans just continue to roll. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Denver's offense now set to go. Well, this has been a tough one for them, Charles. They've struggled really on both sides of the football. And one thing that's really plagued them, the turnovers. They've had issues keeping the football in their possession. And every game that's ever been played, <laughs> All coaches talk about taking care of the football and limiting turnovers. And in this one, after we saw that first turnover, we worried that things would snowball, and it certainly did, especially on the scoreboard. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. This defense just continues to bottle up that ground game. And look, I mean, the deficit right now for this offense is so big that it might not matter, but you're still in the third quarter. They're probably going to have to try things through the air, Charles. I agree with you totally. That's what they'll have to do. They do need to run it occasionally to take a few hits off the quarterback because right now, you just know those pass rushers are fired up to get after it. Well, you're just looking at the scoreboard and where we're at in the third quarter. I, I don't know that it's going to matter much at this point, CD, but these small runs on the ground, they're not going to get it done. No, they're not. And right now, the guys stopping the run have been superior in this ball game, giving them no openings, no seams, and now they've got this game well in hand. How about that, partner? That happened in a hurry. Sudden, explosive, gets into the backfield and spills the play. And he was AFC Defensive Player of the Week last week because of plays just like that. And he fields it cleanly. Well, that looked for a second like he might take it all the way, but as it stands, it's still a massive return. And this offense set up with a very short field. First and 10 inside the 20. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And that went a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. They'll drop the throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Texans! O.J. Howard, an 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Texans are pouring it on. Well, to put it mildly, he's been able to dice up this secondary all game long, and this time, that was a missile that he threw into the end zone and adding another touchdown to his ledger. And I think we see these youngsters develop a lot quicker than we ever have because when they get started in this game, they're not just throwing passes around. They're reading coverages early. So now they're like seasoned pros earlier in their career. How about this one here? If they win this ball game, a game ball definitely coming from his head coach. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. So the Broncos coming out now. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting because three straight drives have ended with him putting the football away. Yes, yeah, so you start pointing fingers. The ball comes out. There are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time. One starts with a B, one starts with an S, ball security. And they preach it. They, they have it up in, in, in meeting rooms, right? You see the signs. They talk about it all the time. But still, when you've got defenders out there who are preaching, hey, we're going to take the ball away from you, no matter what position you play, you've got to take care of the rock. On third down, Wilson. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. 
Micah Parsons in there for the seventh time in this game alone, and that ties him with the late Derek Thomas for the most sacks ever in a single game. It's been a tough one all game long for this offensive line. They're already down big, and now you know they're just going to come after the quarterback in a big way, don't you? Yeah, that old, they just can't get out of their own way right now. It's created an avalanche, and an avalanche is coming right on top of them. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Take it at the 37. A nice little juke. It takes a touchdown saving tackle to bring him down as he goes 32 yards on the return. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Up the middle they go. Boy. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. Pat Sertan getting down from his corner spot to make that play. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Boyd. And he gets stopped up at the 31 after a gain of maybe a yard. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. On third down, he'll drop to throw. He completes it to Beckham. Touchdown, Texans. Odell Beckham, 31 yards. And the Texans extend their lead yet again. Boy, another score. This lead gets even bigger. And Charles, we haven't even hit the fourth quarter yet. Well, forget the deficit, right? They're really not going to cut into that a heck of a lot. But how can they get out of here with some dignity? Can they get a stop or two? Can they make a play on offense themselves? Anything to start to feel better about what's happened to them here in this one. Out is the Texans kick team as they'll send this one away. And this will be a touchback as Ed sails over the end line. The Broncos onto the field ready to start their next drive. Uh, I would say they went three and out last time, but actually they didn't even get to three and out. Still a strange decision to us here in the booth. Yeah, let's hope they don't go one and out, but maybe, possibly, let's try and, try and think with them here. Try to play field position maybe, turn the ball over, put it in the hands of their defense, who knows? You're a nice man. <laughs> to throw on second and 10. Wilson, and it's incomplete. Well, they certainly aren't letting up today, partner, because they forced big turnovers already, and it's been incredibly tough for them to get yards against, let alone put points up on the board. And my goodness, another interception. Derek Stingley picks it, and the Texans are going to take possession of the football. Charles, whatever's going on between his ears right now, it's just not completely calculated correctly. Seven picks between last week and this week after that one. And they always say the most important part of a player is those six inches between the ears. But right now, it's all those interceptions that are going on. So and the Broncos get there and take him down. Bradley Chubb doing what he does best, getting that sack. So now they operate back from their side of the field here. Second and long. Looking to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Boyd. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. They'll look to throw. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game but it falls down to the ground incomplete. And second and 10, he'll look to throw again. That's caught by Howard. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw, being chased out left. And, oh, that's going to wind up incomplete. Nearly their first pick of the game, but it does bring up fourth down. It's been a fun game for him so far, but I think he tried to do just a little too much that time. Give the defense a rare win on that snap. Here we go. Here we go. 33. Yellow. Here's the ball. Hunt, hunt. 
Again, he'll drop to throw. And he's got a man. It's the tight end, Howard, complete. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. So this drive going to continue following the conversion on fourth. Here's first and 10. Now a handoff up the middle. Boy. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. From 17 yards out. And the Texans have got it on cruise control. A familiar refrain, a turnover leads to a touchdown, and that lead grows even wider now here in this third quarter. Yeah, partner, I'd say there are a lot of grins breaking out on that sideline because, let's face it, they came in thinking they were in for a real fight in this game, but this one's been about as one-sided as we've seen in a while. In addition, if you're a backup, time to start stretching and loosening up. You may get some playing time in this one. Out is the Texans' kick team as they'll send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. It's a game that they would rather probably forget about, at least to this point, Charles. And one reason is turnovers. A turnover on the last drive. They had the issue in the first half as well. And that's really, unfortunately for them, helped to put this game out of reach. And you know they won't admit it to themselves. But we know that winning the game is pretty much out of the picture now. So their bottom line is how do they play a clean game the rest of this one, right? Take care of the football, no more turnovers, and see how that works. Micah Parsons in there yet again. They just cannot block him. He now has eight sacks, and that is a new single game record. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. And there's another stop. One of the league's best defenses is certainly bringing it again this week. Here's Michael Pilardi now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And he'll take it just outside the 40. A good kick that time, but also a pretty good 15-yard return. And the Texans will take over with a first and 10. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Oh, look at the juke. Wow, incredible. Miss, miss. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Now back to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a... Play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on. And got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Houston. From 10 yards out. And the Texans just continue to roll. On for the PAT, Kaimi Fairbear. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it results in the Texans finding the end zone. Out is the Texans' kick team as they'll send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Denver offense now as they get set to take over here. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they... Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. And the Texans scoop it. And they will bring this one back. A fumble return for a Texans touchdown. So the defense forces the fumble. They get the score. And a guy on defense becoming offensive there, Charles. And you know they love that. Any guy on defense loves to pick up the ball and have it in his hands and try and score himself. In this case, that's exactly what happened. He'll be singing in the shower post game.
So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Now this Broncos offensive unit ready to head back out onto the field. And they have done themselves absolutely no favors to earn a win today in this one, Charles. The turnover woes continue. On that last drive, they had that fumble that led to a touchdown. And Brandon, I would say they have a mission on this drive, and the bottom line is protect the football, just put together something that they can let the last drive go. Yeah, it was a bad play. They gave up points, but that doesn't mean it has to go that way the rest of this ball game. Do what you do best on offense and try and put the ball in the end zone yourself. Oh, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the Texans scoop it. And they will bring this one back. A fumble return for a Texans touchdown. And give some kudos to the defensive coordinator, I think, here. They bring the blitz, they dial it up, and it turns into six points for them. It's so nice to hear you actually give kudos to the defense. It is so nice. You're such an offensive guy like that. I love it. He dialed things up, and boy, a big play resulted for his guys. Well, you like the credit to the defense there, right, my friend? Yeah, you do, do I ever. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. And Denver getting set to take the field. So first and 10 here for Wilson and the Broncos at their own 25-yard line. He'll hand this one off to Gordon. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. From the 31, Wilson, nowhere to go here. He lost the football, and the Texans scoop it. And they will bring this one back. A fumble return for a Texans touchdown. Huge, huge play by the defense, not only to force the fumble, obviously, but to return it for a touchdown. And I know it's no fun for anyone who plays offense, but isn't it fun to see how a defense rallies when there's a fumble return and everyone tries to find someone to block and bring it all the way home? I always like their celebrations because they don't get there that often. No, they're not choreographed very well, usually. <laughs> so here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Broncos are about set to go on offense. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. I'm getting the sense that this offense is getting frustrated. Here we are into the third quarter, and they've had plenty of opportunities to get in sync. Thus far, that hasn't happened. They're looking for answers, both on the sidelines and in the huddle looking at each other. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And 4C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of... And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Micah Parsons able to get him down for a loss of 11. And it brings up fourth down. Here's Michael Pilardi now, standing just outside his own goal line. And this one will be touched down inside the 40-yard line. Getting set to go again, DeAndre Hopkins marches back onto the field. Sort of a slow and steady game so far, but reliable for him here in this third quarter. Sounds like we're describing a possession receiver, right? The one that finds a way to make the big catches, the ones that break the backs of defenses, keep first downs, accumulating. I think he's that and maybe a little bit more. Yeah, he's been pretty good so far. We'll see if he can make this good game a great game. And Pierce gets it again on second down. 
Oh, what a move. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 15 yards, the Texans pick up the first down. He'll look to throw. He's letting it fly for Cooks. And that is caught. Touchdown, Texans. Brandon Cooks, 44 yards. And the Texans are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. Fairbairn good with the extra point. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Second and 10 now, third quarter action in Denver. Now a man who's been busy this afternoon, it's Williams. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Now Wilson, screen play, and a loose football, and the Texans scoop it. And they will bring this one back. A fumble return for a Texans touchdown. So the defense forces the fumble. They get the score, and a guy on defense becoming offensive there, Charles. And you know they love that. Any guy on defense loves to pick up the ball and have it in his hands and try and score himself. In this case, that's exactly what happened. He'll be singing in the shower post game. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. Well, it's been a struggle so far for this offense, Charles. It's not only that they haven't been able to put the points up, but really stringing yards together has been a real issue for them in this one. I'm so glad you brought up the yardage because I was thinking to myself, We've seen a lot of NFL games, and we've seen our share of lopsided contests. But in almost all of them, both offenses have put up at least 200 yards in a game, but not in this one. This has been a display of offense that, frankly, I think the two of us have watched from behind our hands, trying to spread our fingers wide enough to actually see the result. And the throw there going to be incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Pilardi now on to punt as he sends this one away. It's a 44-yard punt, just three on the return. And the Texans will take over. On the ground, it's Pierce to begin the drive. A oh, heck of a move. Oh, man. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out, and by a few inches, that'll be a first down. First down, they go right back to Pierce. Oh, he's got a little daylight. Dances, and now the rookie's free. 20. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. Damian Pierce 
70 yards. And the Texans are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth quarter lead. Fairbairn good with the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Denver's offense now set to go. I hate to say it, but at this point, I don't really know that they're playing to win with this deficit in the fourth quarter. They're just trying to erase that zero on the scoreboard, Charles, and get some type of momentum to carry into the film session tomorrow. If you get any type of points on the board, it'll count as a moral victory, although no one will talk about that in the post-game press conference. That's not something you mentioned in the NFL. And this loss, it already stings and will for a while, but everyone on that offense knows it'll sting a lot worse if they don't put some points up on the board. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Now it's Wilson. That's complete. It's Okuwebunam. Just a gain of a couple there. And that's going to bring up the fourth down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And that will come the offense as they take over. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Well, they don't really need the points here, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard, but they've scored on three consecutive possessions, three consecutive drives, and I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continuing to pour it on. And things have gotten that way in the NFL, haven't they, partner? Because in the old days, people would, you know, they'd get off the gas a little bit, right? But now, people continue to accelerate, but we'll see what they decide to do as they come out for this one. But the way that this game has gone, they've got to be awfully happy with their execution overall. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. They'll let it go deep for Beckham. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Going deep for Hopkins. And this is caught. Touchdown, DeAndre Hopkins, 62 yards. And the Texans are on their way to a 2-0 start. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Out is the Texans' kick team as they'll send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Broncos offense now gets ready to head back onto the field. At this point, partner, things looking pretty bleak. They still haven't scored here in the fourth quarter, facing the big deficit. I just what silver linings, what can they look to do here offensively? You know, it's funny, I talked about this with a coach in the offseason and kind of had this scenario, like, what feels good to you or what feels good to your team? You're down big, you really have, like, one possession left, and you're trying to put points on the board that don't matter, but do they? And he told me they actually do matter. And in this situation, he's going to try and run the best offense he can run to have at least a little bit of confidence to take away from that game. So right now, they're going to try their best to get something up on the board and not get shut out. To throw once more on second and ten. Wilson, throw to the right here to Gordon. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Looked like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. It's his guy out in the flat. Yeah, so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down. A nice, safe throw and a good one. 
On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 18-yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And they will take over first and 10. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And they've got to be feeling very comfortable and confident here with this lead in the football. And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, Texans. Brandon Cooks, 82 yards. And the Texans add another six points to what's going to be a blowout victory. Fairbairn good with the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. So first and 10 here for Wilson and the Broncos at their 25-yard line. Here's Wilson. And now here is another interception. A.J. Boye with a pick. And the Texans are going to take possession of the football. Well, partner, I, I got to tell you, I'm trying to think of something positive to say for this offense, but I'd have to be a spin doctor for that one. This has been a tough performance to watch. And I think it's hard at this point to actually identify what's really gone. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. Damian Pierce, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Texans take the force turnover on defense and convert it into six points. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. And coming out now, the Broncos. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. You got to get points. And okay, all right. I'll be now a loose football. The ball comes out, and the Texans scoop it. And they will bring this one back. A fumble return for a Texans touchdown. Huge, huge play by the defense, not only to force the fumble, obviously, but to return it for a touchdown. And I know it's no fun for anyone who plays offense, but isn't it fun to see how a defense rallies when there's a fumble return and everyone tries to find someone to block and bring it all the way home? I always like their celebrations because they don't get there that often. No, they're not choreographed very well, usually. <laughs> So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And this will be a touchback as Ed sails over the end line. And we get another look now at this Broncos offense. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this. And my goodness, another interception. And the Texans are going to take possession of the football. Yet another mistake after the interception there. And gosh, you look up at the scoreboard, uh, they just got to be thinking this one cannot get over fast enough. It certainly can't. And also what happens when you get this big of a deficit, you're supposed to make all the right throws, right? You're supposed to try and obviously get the ball to your own guy. And got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Houston. O.J. Howard. A 24-yard touchdown. And the Texans take the interception on defense and convert it into six points. Fairbairn good with the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Broncos onto the field ready to start their next drive. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. 
Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner, they do have some good news though. This one is getting close to being over and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. 43 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. They stay on the ground this time, it's Williams. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you should have, to have a few men in the box there. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Throwing is Wilson, and his throw is going to be incomplete. Another throw there off the mark, and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know. What do you think's going on out there, CD? That's a great question, and my suspicion is he's been coached really well to not show that he's having a problem. You know, they always tell you no matter what, you keep throwing the football with confidence. But well, we're not seeing a confident thrower right now. He's off balance, the passing game's off balance, and the defense is taking advantage. And a fair catch called for and made at the 12 yard line. A 41 yard punt there with no return. And the Texans are gonna have the football with a first and 10 deep in their own territory. They'll start on the ground with Pierce. And that'll hurt the average a bit, as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. And the defense loses him, it's complete. Touchdown. And the Texans are pouring it on. Another touchdown through the air for them and for this rookie quarterback at the helm. He has put them in a great position, Charles, to get the victory in this one. He's absolutely taken charge. Every touchdown for them has come via his arm. Zero rushing touchdowns, no special teams, no defensive scores. All him throwing the football. He's in cruise control right now, and so is his team. Out is the Texans kick team as they'll send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. So the Broncos coming out now. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're... And now here is another interception. And they will score a pick six for the Texans TD. Well, what has been a fantastic game for this defense has been rough for this offense. And certainly a signal caller, Charles, that's thrown all these interceptions. Another one there, and this one taken all the way back for the score. Partner hoping they're holding a nice little spot in the postgame highlights to show this rip of interceptions and great plays this group has made. They've been on it from snap one. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Denver offense now as they get set to take over here. And you can sort of sense their dejection. That last pick six put the icing on the cake, so to speak, in what has been a rough go for them. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. To throw is Wilson. His throw incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Now Wilson, and that is 
is incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. A 40-yard punt, no return, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. So first and 10 now from the 30. First and 10, it's Pierce. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. Touchdown, Texans! O.J. Howard, 56 yards. And the Texans extend their lead yet again. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Bronco offense now set to come back out onto the field and still no points on the scoreboard. You're coming off of the three and out. They're just looking for anything to grab onto right now, aren't they? I'm wondering if someone's going to take charge in the huddle. You know, we always look at look to the quarterback, but sometimes there's another player on the team, a star, a veteran, someone with some excitement and energy. It's like, all right, guys, let's shake things up and let's go because they still have an opportunity to make things happen. Shake it off. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Wilson. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Here's Wilson to throw. Steps away to his left. Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. And they'll be at the 18-yard line. Great field position here in the red zone. So from inside the 20, here's first and ten at the 18. Pierce now up the middle. They juked him. And he gets it down close to the 10-yard line. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven. Leaves him with a second and three. They'll set up to throw. Cooks on the quick slant. And the Texans are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. They'll set up a throw. This is caught. Touchdown. O.J. Howard from three yards out. And the Texans are able to capitalize on the forced fumble by turning it into six points. Fairbairn good with the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Out is the Texans kick team as they'll send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. And Denver getting set to take the field. Right now, they're in a bit of a tough spot here, CD. You trail them by double digits. Remember the last time out, they fumbled. They're going to have to play some clean football here on this possession. And all the talk on their sideline has been about taking care of the football, making sure that they're handling the ball correctly. So you know they'll be squeezing the rock pretty tight here. They just have to be careful not to go so hard in doing that that they actually cause themselves other problems. Take care of the ball, but still try and play free and natural. 
They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Now it's Wilson. And my goodness, another interception. Jordan Brooks with it. And the Texans are going to take possession of the football. This spot in the fourth quarter with that deficit had to throw the football. Unfortunately, there's the risk of big turnover. And you know you're going to be throwing against nickel, dime, all sorts of exotic defenses, but you have to do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try and get them out of it. But as you noted, this time of the game, this point on the clock, had to throw it. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. That one goes for 16 yards. It sets him up first and goal. Here's Pierce, will take this one in for a Texans touchdown. So he had the nice run to get him down there, was stopped just short of the goal line, but they go right back to him, CD, and he delivers to finish the drive off. A little extra determination there, don't you think, partner? You notice he didn't tap on his helmet and say, get me out after the run down to the end zone. He said, I almost got in. I'm going to get in on my own. I'm staying in, and he carries it across the goal line. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Denver's offense now set to go. So now, Charles, this drive maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. The Texans here on third down, putting an extra defender in the secondary. Wilson. And that will be incomplete. Well, it just seems like all game long, there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. That'll go as a 39-yard punt. Give him nine on the return. And now out comes Houston. Well, CD, we are witnessing something that I never thought that I would witness. I would imagine you never thought this, too. I mean, we, we have a team taking the field in an NFL game, and they are up by triple digits. I mean, 50 is a lot, but to get to over 100, this is just crazy. We've seen. And this is caught. Touchdown, Texans. Odell Beckham, 58 yards. And the Texans have got it on cruise control. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. And three and out on the last drive. No points on the scoreboard. A little soul-searching now? I would say so, and they need to help out their defense a little bit. They've had to be on the yeah, field a lot position. more than normal, put them in some tough spots. But what's the old adage? When you get another chance, it gives you a better chance to do it right. Second and six, just inside the 30. Here's Wilson. And this is incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better. Got to get more help. Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. And the Texans scoop it. And they're already in the red zone. The 18-yard line is where they take over. 
as they say, this game hasn't exactly been one for the books. I mean, we're into the fourth quarter here, and now this happens, another turnover. Not one that they're going to hold up and say, yeah, this has been a banner day. Absolutely. Still sitting, and he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Fairbear now to add the extra point. Now, this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. Well, they got the ball in great field position. One play later, boom, end zone. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Here's the Denver offense now as they get set to take over here. Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points to Charles, but they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch partner for both of those units, and they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them, get out there now and get some points on this drive. And the Texans have an extra defender in the secondary now on third down. Another tote for Gordon. He's been busy this afternoon. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Bronco football as we get your reset here. They've got a first and ten as they search for a late score. Work to do here to avoid falling to one and one, but this is first and ten right now. And his throw is going to be incomplete. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him, but after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. And his throw here is incomplete. I think this one offensively, this is one where you just say, let's move on. Let's not even watch the game tapes from this one. Yeah, you might just want to throw it in the trash, act like it was never there in the first place. Yeah, just say we're good. I actually have heard of a coach in the past who took his team out to the practice field and ceremonially buried the game films from the prior game when they got clobbered. That was his way of putting it behind them. He'll send this one into the mile high air, and it's a good one. Fair catch called. It's taken in right at the 20-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the football going back over now to the Houston Texans. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. That one looks like he'll throw here. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. And that's caught inside the 30. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Looking like they're well on their way to a 2-0 start. All smiles right now on that sideline, isn't it? As well there should be. It's hard to win a game in the NFL. We hear it all the time. We know that it's difficult. But guess who's smiling? But inside is thinking 24-hour rule because we're going to have to play again next week. Boss man. Oh, without a doubt. The head coach, <laughs> he wants them to feel good, but at the same time, find a way to keep improving. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Set to take over, the Broncos offense trots back out. Uh, CD, it's all window dressing at this point. I mean, the best they can do is in the game with a nice drive to maybe build some momentum to move forward into their next contest. Yeah, with how lopsided this game has been, even one score might not do a lot of cosmetic good on the scoreboard, partner, because it's just about looking forward at this point. Get a touchdown here, give yourself some positive momentum and reps to focus on when you get back to practice in the next couple of days. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. 
So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Looking to throw. Wilson, and that is incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Fair catch called for and made at about the 32-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Now they are really in the driver's seat here, enjoying this lead late in the fourth quarter. The defense does have all three timeouts, but at the... Oh, a leap, and he will make the catch. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. He'll drop to throw. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. They'll look to throw here. Escaping the pressure right. Looking for the end zone. And give him another six. It's caught for a touchdown. And the blowout continues. He put quite a bit of air underneath that touchdown pass. Of course, we knew that he had the strong arm. That part was easy. You could see that throughout his college career. But what you want to know about a rookie is, when the pressure's on, can you throw with touch? He just did right there. And boy, it was pretty. Out is the Texans kick team as they'll send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And Denver getting set to take the field. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest. Don't forget today. <laughs> Don't forget what has happened out yeah, here. Use that as ammo exactly. going forward. Exactly. Take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly everything went for us today. Coaching, playing, the whole deal and never forget it because you're not going to want that feeling no again. you don't want that feeling again and who knows you may meet up with this team again and that one hits the ground incomplete so now just four ticks left in this one one last shot for wilson and this is dropped it incomplete well there's a metaphor for how this one is gone as time has run out on this ball game so Houston going to come away here with the victory. And I tell you what, Charles, this might be about as good as it gets. They were incredible. Yeah, offense was in fine form. The defense threw the shutout at them. I think they worked in concert together. What I like about the offense was they held the ball pretty well. You know, time of possession, exactly what they were looking for in this one. And that helped out their defense. Didn't have to be out there the entire time. So when you do that and you're out there fresh playing, off a little extra spring in your step, and it showed up in this one. They had a ton of spring in their step. Impressive victory. So for Houston, it was a great all-around performance as they come out of this one with the victory. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to the Windy City to take on the Bears. Meanwhile, for Denver, they'll fall to one and one. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves next week at home against San Francisco.